Hey everybody, welcome back to The Frugal Filmmaker. Today I'm really excited to show you a $23 gadget that will allow you to write screenplays just about anywhere, send files to any computer, and has 700 hours of battery life. I'm also going to show you some simple mods to make it that much better. This is the AlphaSmart Neo Word Processor, which has a full-size keyboard, non-backlit LCD screen, and runs on three AA batteries. It uses internal memory and automatically stores every keystroke in one of eight memory slots. When you're ready to dump your files, you don't pull a card. You connect the Neo to a computer via a USB cable and it will be detected as an external keyboard. Open any document on the receiving end, press send, and the Neo will type out your file right before your eyes. It should work with any device that supports a USB keyboard, and I have confirmed it works with an OTG cable on my Android tablet. Okay, so there's no wireless transfer, internet, or email, but at this price point, so what? And did I mention the battery life? 700 hours on three double A's. I have yet to see one come with a power supply, but who cares? You'll probably only need to change the batteries once a year anyway. Another highlight is that you can change the font size to display two to six lines of text on the crisp LCD screen. Great for young and old eyes alike. It's also light at under two pounds and will fit into a 13 inch laptop bag or sleeve, making it extremely portable. There are lots of articles, forums, and videos about the Neo, so be sure to search the interwebs if you want more details. I'll also provide some links down below. Now these devices are well known by writers as excellent draft machines that allow you to focus on your writing by cutting you off from the internet and social media. Once you crank out a rough draft, you can send it to a fancier program for editing. It works really well. So how does the Neo work with screenwriting? Since screenplays have a specific format that requires special software or templates, don't you have to do copious reformatting once sent? Yes, if you use a typical what you see is what you get program like Celtics or Final Draft. But what if you could format the screenplay inside the Neo that could be interpreted on the other end? The open source fountain format was created for the very purpose of taking any text file formatted in a specific way and turning it into a recognizable screenplay. Basic formatting in fountain is almost exactly the same as writing a script in dedicated software minus the tab fields. Once it hits fountain, bam, screenplay city. Since the Neo is a glorified text editor, it fits perfectly into a Fountain workflow. There are lots of programs and apps that use Fountain, including the website afterwriting.com. Check fountain.io for more information and a complete list of supported software. And this is just the tip of the iceberg with Fountain. It can be a very detailed system that allows you to do any kind of special screenplay formatting, like simultaneous dialogue. Since you are never tabbing around, it really helps you focus on the writing process, and much like the Neo, is streamlined and fast. Because it works off of a text file, Fountain will work with any device that allows you to generate one. So pull out those old devices and use them to write scripts. I can even write a screenplay on my Commodore 64. Yes! Now Fountain is free and is an excellent system to replace the free version of Celtix, which I've used forever. Anyway, back to the Neo. Let's mod the thing. Okay, so the first mod we're going to do is the easiest, and that's just to add four rubber feet on the bottom. Now you might notice that there are a couple of rubber feet on the bottom of the Neo, but they are sort of worn down, or maybe they're just not designed all that well. All I noticed was that the Neo would slide around kind of on a flat surface whenever I put it on a table or something. In fact, if you look at the bottom of the unit, there are no rubber pads, just some raised plastic parts here that don't really do much of anything as far as I can tell. So I just decided to put some rubber feet on the bottom. I got a package of a bunch of them at Walmart for like $3.85. Great for other projects as well, and I just put them in the most obvious spot on the bottom of the Neo. So the next thing we can do is replace the internal button cell. Now I had read that these button cell batteries, which are used for battery backup, for example, if you take your batteries out to change them, or if there's some kind of power loss or whatever, uh, you're going to lose all your settings and all your internal files unless this button cell is in good shape. So I decided to change mine, and the first thing you need to do is just uh, take out your batteries. There's a little Phillips head screw that locks your battery cover in place. Take that out, take the batteries out. Uh, then you have eight security screws to deal with. Four of them are T Torx T7s on the bottom. Then you have four Torx T10s. The ones on the bottom came out with relative ease. The ones on the top, however, I could not get out with my uh, precision bit set. So I actually had to get something with a bigger handle and a slightly larger bit, it's still a T10, and then sort of put some muscle behind it and then the screws would snap out. So if you decide to do this, just be prepared. You might need something a little beefier for these top screws. Once you do that, the back plate comes off relatively easily. And then you can see uh, the motherboard there with the button cell on the left. Um, but you can't pop it out at this point. In fact, you notice there's a little plastic pin blocking or holding the button cell in place. 
So you have to take off some more security screws, some four more T7s, Torx T7s. And once you do that, you can lift out the motherboard and that plastic pin then disappears underneath and you can push out the button cell with a small screwdriver. Now once I did this and turned on my unit, I noticed that I was getting some corruption errors. And no matter how many times I took the batteries out and put them back in for a reboot, I still had this corruption error. Uh, I went to Google, I found out uh, a way to resolve this, which is you're gonna have to reinstall the operating system. And then I found there was a, a website from the company that originally sold the Neo, and they had steps to resolve this. They, uh, there's a program called Neo Manager for the PC and the Mac, you can download it and reinstall all of your uh, software that way. Um, this also will tell you if your firmware needs an update and will update it for you, which is great. That's what I did, and once I did all these things, um, my Neo was back up and running with a new button cell. Neo Manager is also very useful for sending and receiving files without using the send button on your keyboard. You can actually just send and receive the actual file itself. And to do this, you go to git slash print alpha word files tab, and you can pick the file that you want to download from your Neo. Just uh, check it there and then save files and allow you to save it just like any other file. You'll save it as a text file. If you want to put something back on the Neo, you go to Alpha Word Files to Send tab, and there you can just pick a slot you want to upload a file to. We'll, we'll pick three here, uh, and you would just paste it right here. So you actually copy uh, something from a text file, and you can paste it right there. And then when you go to uh, your send list, you'll notice that there's a file number three there that is waiting to be sent, and you click on the send button, and it will send it to your Neo so you can work on it there. Now just for fun, I decided to test the old button cell to see really how much power had been lost over all the time this thing's been in service. And I measured it at 2.8 volts, so it actually probably would have run for another five years. I don't know, these button cells I guess last a lot longer than originally thought because this one still is still in pretty decent shape. I replaced it with a new one anyway. Um, but just in case, if you don't want to have to jump through these hoops in case something goes horribly wrong, and you have to reinstall your OS, uh, maybe you don't even want to do this mod because I don't know really how critical it is to replace the button cell, which seems like it's going to last a lot longer. Um, and if you just keep your batteries in the unit, I mean, you're going to be fine. But if you want to do this, you can. Just be aware that you're going to have to do some extra things. And I'll leave all the links in the description below about where I found the software and the website that told me how to fix it. All right, our last mod is going to be to power the USB port on the back of the Neo so we can insert a USB light. The reason we're doing this is that there is no backlight uh, on the Alpha Smart units, uh, with the exception of the Dana, which is a completely different animal. A lot of people use some book lights with external batteries, but I wanted to power mine from within. Now, someone had done this mod already, and there's a picture on the internet of it, and so that's what I use. This is actually for a Neo 2, but this will work just fine with your Neo. It's pretty much the same motherboard as far as I'm concerned. Um, but there is power that is coming from the rechargeable battery port. Um, which is marked B4, and there's a little plus next to it, and I tested it, and there is 4.5 volts coming from it, perfect for this little USB light. Um, and in the picture that was on the web, they have a wire going from that positive port all the way to one of the pins on the USB port. Um, so I soldered this wire in, uh, put my unit back together, and it didn't work. Um, and it seems like there's just a flaky connection going from the back of the USB port like this, so I thought this might work better if there was some way to solder the wire to the actual pin as it's coming through the other side of the motherboard. So I'm going to need to flip the motherboard over to get to that pin. But to do that, you're going to have to take out four more uh, T7 Torx screws so you actually get to the bottom of the motherboard. And you're going to have to remove the ribbon connectors, which are held in place by these little simple push-out connectors. Uh, just push them out, the ribbon cable comes right out. Um, you have to do this twice, two different ribbon connectors, but once that's done, you can flip the motherboard over, and there's that pin you can uh, solder the wire to, and that's what I did, and it was just a much stronger connection, and when I put everything back together, it did work. The USB light was now powered. There was power coming from the USB port without any issues that I was having before. Uh, in fact, this mod will actually work whether your uh, AlphaSmart Neo is turned on or not. You'll always have power going to that port to power your USB light, or charge your phone, I guess. The AlphaSmart line of word processors were used in schools in the early aughts, and now they're all over eBay. I picked up my used Neo for $33 shipped, but there's a seller moving them right now for $23 shipped. In fact, I clicked on watch for that item, and the seller offered me one for $19.25. 
Now there are other Alpha Smart models, but the most proven are the Neo and the Neo 2. They are the most plentiful, run the last software issued, and have the best keyboards. The only real difference is that the Neo 2 has slightly more memory and the units are newer, but from what I've read, it's hardly noticeable. The Neo 2 will cost you about $10 to $20 more than the Neo. The Alpha Smart Neo is a great way to create a first draft for your script when used in tandem with any fountain application. It may be cheap to buy, but it's a durable, highly available product with a good screen, nice keyboard, and killer battery life. The fact you can write screenplays with the thing is just icing on the frugal cake. And hey, I wrote the first draft of this teleprompter script on my AlphaSmart Neo. Now go get one and write, write, write. Later.